Good day driver. So today I'm going to explain to you how the radiator work or you can call it the cooling system. So first I'm going to explain the lubricating system. Lubricating system and engine as many moving metal parts. If metal parts rub against each other, they wear quickly. To prevent this, engines have a lubricating system that coats moving parts with oil. The oil film reduces the friction between the moving parts. The lubricating system has an oil pan which is sump at the bottom of the engine that all several quarts are liters oil so as you can see we're looking at the this is the engine and you know as you can see this is a radiator and this is the pan actually this is the oil pan at the bottom okay so now we're going to talk about the cooling system the cooling system keeps the engine at a safe and efficient operating temperature. Where there is combustion, there is heat, burning the air fuel mixture, raises the temperature inside the engine. So this is the cooling system, this is the engine. And the cool the you know the the antifreeze, this is a radiator, as you can see, once you turn on the vehicle, the cooling system start to flow at the bottom, right through in you know, in between like the cylinder heads and all those places. You know, go right back to the eater core. So you go right back to the eater core. So when you turn on the eat, you will get eat. You know, rotate through the eater core right here. Flow right back. And go right back through the engine, engine through the engine head. So it's basically cooling the system where it keep repeating itself. So that is why when it go to the radiator, the fan came on, cool on the antifreeze or the cool or the cooling system to keep repeating repeating it back. You need cool here to cool the engine down. So once it flow through the engine, through the heater core, come right back. Fan turn on, cool the antifreeze down and keep flowing back right through the system. That's how it works. Okay, so much of the heat leaves the engine through the exhaust gas. The engine cooling system removes most of the remaining heat. The engine has water jacks, water jacks, extracer, which are open spaces surrounding the cylinders. Engine coolant, a mixture of water and antifreeze moves through the water jack jackets. The coolant absorb the heat and carries it to the radiator. Here passing through the radiator carries away the heat. So we're looking at these right between here. We call it the water jack. And right here we got the thermostat. So for instance, let me see now. We turn on the vehicle. So we got the lower hose and also the transmission fluid cooler hose. So once you turn on the vehicle, the lower hose bring in the antifreeze. And then after the antifreeze, you go right after the, sorry, after, once you come to the lower hose, you flow right through the water jacks. Okay. And then we're looking at, I want to make sure I explain it right. Then we go right through the eater hose. This is the eater hose, and this is what bring heat 
into your car and flow through the ether core. So from the ether core, the antifreeze flow right back through that ether line, ether core line. Okay. And then basically everything circulate. So we're not going back to the water jack out. Meanwhile, you're getting antifreeze through the ether core. This still flowing back right through, which is the thermostat. But you got to remember, the thermostat usually open up when when the heat rise. How you once the thermostat open up, it gonna flow right through the radiator, cool down, and repeat and repeat the procedure. So you see, also you got the drain valve. So this is where you drain your antifreeze. If you don't need, if you don't want to flush the system, all you gotta do jack up the car. You open this button, drain the antifreeze, and you just put one one bottle of antifreeze in the radiator, whatever is recommended to the car. Okay. Okay, so that's it. You know, it's not nothing. It's not difficult. It's just, you know, pretty understandable. But just to give you a, a heads up, you know how how the cooling system work okay thank you have a good day if you're interested just hit the bell for notification all right thanks